Hi, homeschool moms. This video is for you. I'm in the classroom, but I'm going to talk to the moms today, homeschool moms or just moms in general that want to do something fun with your children. Now, my children are grown now. They're out of college, but when they were little and we were homeschooling, one of our favorite things to do was to read aloud. So we've read aloud lots of books. In fact, my son saw this on the shelf the other day and was saying, oh, I remember when we read this, The Long Winter by Laura Ingalls Wilder is one of the ones that we read together. So I would, every day, I don't know, it, the time exactly was always the same. I liked after lunch, right after lunch. And sometimes we would even go and lay on the trampoline for our time to read or maybe in the evening, usually in the evening before bed is more like our devotional time. So, but we would find a time in our homeschool day to read a chapter a day from a book like this. And then sometimes, especially if I was going to use the book as part of their school, um, we would make something, we would do some more activities to go along with the book, or we might make a lap book. Now, if you're new to lap booking, you take a file folder like this, and you turn it into what we call a lap book. And then you can paste things in here and it's kind of like a graphic organizer. So why don't we go over to the table and let me first show you how to fold a lap book. And then I'll show you a free resource that I'm offering today to all of my subscribers. Okay, so here we are over at the table and the way that you fold a lap book is you open the file folder just completely open it and then you take one of the sides and fold it to the middle and then you take the other side and you fold it to the middle and they fit together perfectly as you can see and so there you have it there is the there's the lap book so usually on the front cover um you put a picture and they can color and usually it has a title and what's going to be inside. And then when you open it up, you can see different sections. So like here's a section and here and here and here. And you also have a section here if you kind of fold it closed and there is more space on the back for you to put more things. So this is how you fold a lap book. Now let me show you a lap book that you can have for the resource, um, a resource lap book for the long winter that I was talking about. All right, so now we have our lap book and I have a resource that I wanna offer you. It goes along with the long winter and I'm gonna offer it to you for free, but I'd like to do a little walk through just to show you what it's like before, before we go today. So, so here it is, it's the Little House on the Prairie, the Long Winter Unit Study, but it's basically a lap book. So it does have a little bit of information, like who was Laura Ingalls Wilder, and gives you some, some information about the Homestead Act and pioneering life. You can use this, especially if you're using this as part of your homeschool, some interesting and awesome uh, facts. And then there's this graphic designer, you can compare and contrast Eight, the 1800s versus the 2000s, pioneering days versus, versus modern times. And there's a couple of links to find some maps or field trips online or arts and crafts that you might want um, to use. Uh, a couple just really fast under the arts and crafts. Um, homemade butter is so fun during this read, alo read aloud. And then... Um, a corn cob doll is a lot of fun or a fleece scarf. And let me jump out for just a minute because we did make those and I have pictures. So the corn cob doll is just, we just used a empty toilet paper tube. So here's that, here's a picture of that. We just took an empty toilet paper tube and we wrapped it in fabric and with a little tie in the middle and and it was really actually a rubber band that creates the head and then a rubber band around the middle for the apron. And that's a really easy project. And then we also did these little easy no-sew fleece little scarves. And we actually used those as gifts for Christmas to give to fam to actually to give to all the little cousins in the family. 
So that was a fun project. Well, let's go back to the walkthrough. So that's just a little more about the arts and crafts. And then recipes. And this is a fun fact. Um, and I'll tell you really fast. It's um, interesting to learn that some of Garth Williams' original sketches drawn in 1953 for the uh, Little House on the Prairie book series were auctioned off and the cover for the Little House on the Prairie book had been pre-auctioned at a value of $8,000 to $12,000, but the auction was held in 2011 and it sold for $50,000, $50,787.50. That was just a fun fact. Um, just that original artwork is just uh, so valuable. All right, so directions to fold your lap book. We've already talked about that. And then you can see here are some questions. It says write, the, write and answer the following questions inside the cutout. So these are some questions about chapter one. So you would cut out this and the side um, triangles fold in. And then you would glue that into your lap book. That's chapter one. Here's a little chapter two graphic. You cut that out. You write the questions and answers for chapter two. And then you stick that in your lap book and you just keep going. There's another one for chapter three. And you have about three or four questions for every chapter. So it's great for comprehension. Chapter four, October blizzard was the name of that. Chapter five, after the storm. Chapter six, you can see that the graphics are a little bit different, a little bit fun. So every day that you read a chapter, you also would fill out the questions, glue that day's graphic into your lap book. There's chapter nine, 10, 11, 12. And this is a pretty long book. So you might want to get started. I know winter isn't here, but you might want to gather your supplies and get a copy of this book from Amazon. I'll put a link below, or you could look on eBay or find a used copy probably, but um, there it is. That was chapter 33, so that was the end of that. So then you'll be ready to read this all during the winter, the long winter. You'll be having so much fun making a lap book. This is free. The link is below. All I ask in return is that you please subscribe, hit the like button, and please share this with your friends so that they can can have a copy of the lap book and also see on my channel. I have so many resources for homeschool parents completely free because I was a homeschool mom myself. I'm just giving back. I love teaching. This is all free on this website, on this channel. So please share it with your friends so that I can hopefully get this channel to grow and make more and more videos, which I really do enjoy. Thanks for listening and remember to down below grab your a copy of your free lap book, The Long Winter. I'll talk to you in another video. Everybody have a great day. Goodbye.